So Mark Zuckerberg just bought a blockchain so that he can launch his own cryptocurrency. Well, probably. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Gregory from DAP University. And today we're talking about Facebook buying a new blockchain startup and what that means for them as a company. So we're going to talk about the company that they acquired, uh, what they might be doing, you know, why, why they might be doing this and what they might be building, and also what this means for blockchain technology in general. So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And also, if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. So let's talk about this. So Facebook just bought a new blockchain startup called Chainspace. And I actually got tipped off to this from, you know, my good news source Cheddar, which I've, you know, cited before on this channel. So I'll pull up the article right here if you guys want to take a look. It talks about Facebook making its first blockchain acquisition with Chainspace. So you can check out that original article if you want to. Full credit to those guys. You can watch the video. They're really great. Um, so Chainspace is a startup that was working on basically a blockchain, like a, a distributed ledger technology, a smart contract platform um, that was, you know, widely capable of doing a lot of different things. You can even check out their website. They have the announcement at the top that says that they're excited to announce that their team is moving on to something new, which is this acquisition by Facebook. Um, and you can see that, you know, the project will still be open if that's something you all want to check out. They'll keep their uh, code and documentation open source. But yeah, basically, they were working on a smart contract platform and distributed ledger technology. You can read more about that on Chainspace's website if you want to. Um, but yeah, Facebook has acquired them. So let's talk about why they might be doing this. And you know, like I said, this is Facebook's first acquisition in the blockchain space. You know, if you've been following along my channel, you might have seen a previous video that I did about Facebook getting into the blockchain space. You know, earlier last year, they actually, you know, hired uh, David Marcus, who is the XVP of PayPal. And they were talking about, you know, potentially Facebook getting into the payment space. And they had talked about Facebook building their own blockchain. And it's been hard to really get reliable news on this. You know, Facebook is not really broadcasting uh, all the details of their operation to the world. I don't blame them. They want to kind of keep this close to the chest as they're kind of researching this and developing it. This is still in the early phases of this technology, um, but it's a big deal. And this move with chain space, people think is the next leap forward in that effort. Basically, if Facebook is trying to get into payments um, and they're, you know, want to have their own blockchain, well, it makes sense to buy, you know, a team that's already working on a blockchain technology. Right? It just lets Facebook acquire that talent so they can leverage it and use it for their own purposes. And let's talk about you know, why Facebook is doing this. Well, Chainspace um, has a bunch of researchers on the team who are looking at you know, trying to create a blockchain that's fast, that can you know, handle transactions at scale and rival something like Visa or MasterCard. And that's probably primarily why Facebook did this. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't talked to anyone at Facebook, but this is sort of what I've gathered from reading the articles and what really makes sense just by the rumors that are floating around, right? This is all just my opinion. Don't necessarily take this uh, as the full truth, right? This is kind of my perspective on it. But I think that Facebook is trying to do this to create a critical mass of talent to pull off whatever they're going to do, right? So they can just buy a startup that's already got momentum and has already got a lot of really talented people working in-house to build out whatever they're trying to do. So, you know, Facebook has been on a pretty aggressive hiring spree for blockchain developers, blockchain engineers. You can actually look uh, on Indeed. They've had these job listings open for a long time for blockchain developers. You can actually read through this. If you're ever interested in, you know, trying to become a blockchain developer for a big company, you can kind of see the types of things that they're working on the types of skills that are required in order for you to learn that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, Facebook's been trying to hire for this for a while, and this acquisition allowed them to basically get a bunch of people in one fell swoop. So I think that Facebook is trying to, like I said, create a critical mass of talent to move this ball forward. And let's talk about what they could possibly be building, right? So Facebook is is always been about these acquisitions, right? They bought Instagram. They bought WhatsApp right? And some people think that they're using sort of these acquisitions of these plug and play 
pieces um, to kind of accomplish whatever their end goal is. And the rumor floating around right now is that Facebook might be building a stable coin to power WhatsApp, okay? So, like I said, this is just a rumor. This has not been confirmed necessarily. You can check out this article on Ethereum World News where they talk about that. You know, Facebook has say bought WhatsApp, and people think they might be developing a stable coin with this blockchain that they're working on to power WhatsApp. So you basically, you could send you know, cryptocurrency back and forth inside of basically Facebook Messenger. Right? So if you're not familiar, you know, what is a stablecoin? Well, a stablecoin is a cryptocurrency that's backed by real assets. So it can be backed by like fiat currency, for example. And that's something that people think Facebook is working on. They are trying to, it makes sense that they're trying to get into the payment space that they would be investing in trying to create a stablecoin, right? It's a valid use case. Because people want to get into cryptocurrency, they don't want to deal with the volatility, so they could basically buy into Facebook's monetary system with a stable coin. Something where they could send, you know, cryptocurrency back and forth between Facebook users uh, easily, very cheaply, very fast. And that would take, you know, power away from credit card companies, or take power away from you know, governments who back currencies. You know, Facebook has <laughs> users all over the globe, and it makes perfect sense if you think about it, right? And so, like I said, this is still a rumor. This is all kind of my opinion and what uh, I've read on the web, right? I haven't heard this from Facebook directly. So you have to decide for yourself if this is plausible and, you know, if this is what they're working on. So no one really knows for sure what Facebook is working on in the blockchain sector, but this is a guess. This is you know, sort of a prediction that a lot of people are making. So what does this mean for blockchain technology in general? Well, it's a huge validator that Facebook is taking the technology seriously, right? You know, some people doubt blockchain technology's validity. They say, oh, it's too slow. No one will ever use it. I don't see the use cases. Well, a big company like Facebook is betting on this horse big. If they're acquiring startups like this and, you know, sinking time and money into trying to build something and, and leverage the new technology in a way to, you know, basically increase and grow their business. So what are they doing with it, right? Like, why would Facebook really want to create a decentralized cryptocurrency if they're a centralized entity? Well, that's a good question. It's hard to know for sure. Some people think this could be a play to, like, create trust with users and things like that to create something that's decentralized. Some people say that they'll, they'll maintain the appearance of decentralization, but will actually not be very decentralized. It'll still maintain some sort of, uh, you know, level of control, centralized control. So we'll have to see. And, you know, what do you think? I'm not necessarily weighing in on whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, some people, can, you know, Facebook gets flack for the amount of data it controls and the amount of information that it holds about its users. And so what would happen if, you know, Facebook could also control a large monetary supply, right? They had all this data and had control over the money that people were using. You know, what would that mean for just people and societies? So I'll leave those questions to you. You can tell me what you think down in the comment section below. So that's all I got for today, guys. Again, this is big news that Facebook is, you know, acquired a new blockchain startup to further whatever they're working on in their blockchain sector. Uh, so again, I hope you all like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.